Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode what we'll do is we're going to work on the front lights and um, we've also got a little bit of event here that um, I forgot about. The last episode we worked on the headlights, well on the side view mirror should I say, and the shark fin antenna at the top. It's all looking pretty good. So before we start on the lights, real quick, um, I'm going to cheat with this a little bit, which I think at this point with the car it's not going to be a huge deal. So we're going to basically just map out the shape of this block here. Something like that. And let's scale it in. We don't need it to be that thick. And then we're going to take it in to onto the car body just here. So we're going to want that to sit on here, something like that. So let's just get a little bit of a rotation in here. So what we'll do is let's insert another edge loop like so. We can just have that help. Now I'm going to go to the inside of the lines here. Grab the face on the edge here, and I'm just going to pull that out. And this is going to make the point. Something like that. And then we'll do the same with the face on the back here. Bring that out here. So we can see, it's a good job we went to the inside, we're just going to want to bring that down. So we're going to want this to sit in as close to the body as possible. to do is we're going to want to grab this face, all of these faces here, and extrude them in. Like so. Take control E again and then just take them in. Uh, something like that would be fine. Now the whole portion of this we could rotate up. And again, we'll bring this down so it's not interfering with the curve of the car. So a little bit smaller, so let's just bring all these points further down. Now we'll just quickly want to add in some edge loops. Go in here. All around here, as usual. Take one to the back as well. And then there's a few of these edges that are fairly sharp. So, these ones, for example, we'll drop one fairly close. And then, I think this one. So it looks like this one should be a bit more curved. Also grab these here. And bring them down a little bit. So we make sure that line's fairly consistent all the way across. Okay, so smooth that off. Drop it in there best we can. And then just like everything else, we'll add the darker material to it. Okay. 
Yep, so we've got that little badge on the side as well. So that's fine. Now, the headlights. So, let's grab the inner edges here. And I'm just going to extrude these in a little bit further. And maybe start to straighten them off as well. So let's grab that. Let's grab all of these here. We can isolate that. Okay. So we've got a few things to consider in here. Firstly, we have um, an LED strip that kind of runs along the top. Then we have two hill lights. And then we have the repeater, the indicator on the edge around here. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the halos first. That'll probably be the easiest. So to do this, we'll use a pipe. So I'll bring this around into position. Now it's going to be tough because the blueprints don't actually have any information for the headlights on here at all, which is a little bit frustrating. So let's rotate these 90 degrees. And we don't want to go on our side view, we want to be in our front view. So, we'll also want to take down the thickness. So the thickness of these here will probably look at something like maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 looks like it should work. Let's get it down. Maybe 0 0.15. Zero point one five looks like it should work quite nicely. Um, let's get that into position here now. What we're going to need to do is, I would say maybe all of these points here, and then all of the corresponding points up here. All of these look fairly flat. Maybe these ones we'll go for. So we'll straighten all these off and then we'll straighten these off. And then we're going to want to bring these down so that they're level there. And there. We'll just need to do the same to the top here. We'll level these off. And these. And it'll be something like that. So these are very similar to the BMW Halo lights of old, but obviously we've got flat tops to them instead. So something like that, that looks good. So let's take that inside the actual headlight. So it looks to me like that's probably going to sit. I think about there should be good. Um, we do need to take that down in size because we do have the LED strip above. So let's just get that in place. We have two of these. And it looks like if I can get straight on view here. Looks like the first halo sits right on the curve. So let's just smooth that off and this off. So it looks like that one sits right about there. And then the next one is a little bit bigger. That. And that sits off it like so. I think that maybe come back a little bit more. Maybe scale them down again. So 
So something like that looks okay. We'll obviously want to bring that up. Same that plus the one here. So we'll pull those back something like that. So that placement looks decent. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an edge loop. Something like that. See about bridging that gap and then filling that hole. And then uh, we can bridge that bit too. Because it looks like this point in here. Looks like what's actually happening inside here. Yeah, maybe I'll bring all of these down. So we do want to block off a lot of the information from behind. sure we haven't affected too much now. It looks like what happens here is it looks like maybe there's something, it's, it doesn't look like a light of some kind, it looks like maybe there's a sensor or a camera or something inside there. Yeah. So we'll simply just drop, maybe take some of the detail out of this, it's not going to save too much in terms of their poly count but it'll, maybe it'll help. So let's take that down to 10. side view here, we'll delete. Let's get this down to roughly what size it looks like. So we'll just go something like that maybe. And we're going to want that maybe to sit just there. something like that. And then what we'll do with this is we'll maybe make it the shiny colour so it stands out a bit off that background. Okay so that looks good. Now it looks like our side repeater over here is kind of a housed in a completely separate area. Now 
Let's grab Let's grab these two and we'll pull them over here. Now, let's go for the DRLs, which appear to appear to run from here all the way up here. And for now, let's insert an edge loop go maybe drop two in and let's slim this down a little bit something like that so let's take these and tuck them off up here it's just maybe took them just inside there okay. and I'm just gonna drag these all the way up and out the top just make sure they're not interfering with anything there. Because a lot of this is going to be hidden, you don't have to be too precise. like what we'll maybe need to do with this is take these aspects back up something like that um, what we'll do with this LED strip is we will add a bit more topology to it so maybe drop one a bit here Essentially, when this comes to being rendered, it'll just be a chrome strip. And then maybe one more just here. And again. Let's take these vertices up into the top. Just as long as it's not interfering with anything up there. Okay, so that's good. That makes them look a little bit meaner. It does look like they do go straight over the top of the halos there, just to give it kind of an angry look, which is fine. Um, what I might do is let's insert an edge loop, maybe something a bit closer to the center. I'll grab these faces in the center here. I'm going to scale them in. I think I have this kind of going inside itself because I've left 
these behind here. Sure. Like these are following a cool line rather than being a little bit distorted and dodgy like they are currently. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so I'm going to take these. So, with these sections here, it does appear to have a little bit more inside. So, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to create a new pipe. And this time, I'm going to take the thickness all the way down. And rotate it around here. So 90 degrees, thickness 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.05. Oops. I'm going to take this to the center here. Scale this down. Go for something like something like that. Okay. And let's insert an edge loop on the outside here. Grab all these and hit Control E. We'll pull this out, something like that, and we'll grab all of these top edges. We'll give them the same treatment as we did before. I'm going to scale them off so that they're nice and straight. Pull them down here. take that inside there. So something like that. And then let's insert an edge loop in the center here. Um, let's maybe take... No, we'll just do the one. That'll be fine, actually. I'm going to hit Control e and I'm just going to scale that all the way in here. Maybe not all the way actually, let's go to something like this and then we'll pull it forward because we're going to want to get some curvature on this. Put it forward again and then we'll extrude it again here. And then we're going to go in nice and close, and we're going to just get all these merged together. So we'll get all these together like so, and then eventually, hopefully, we should end up center of that. Maybe not quite. Okay. It's got 
nice rounded area to that. Drop this inside the other block too. Let's line that up. I'll we'll take that inside here. Okay, it's looking good. And then finally we just have an area around the side here for the repeater, so maybe we will create this out of a plane. Rotate this 90 degrees. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to keep all of these blocks. Um, let's have a mess around here and see. Let's have a see if we can um, maybe do something with this because what we're going to need is we're going to want this obviously to fill the size there which it practically does. So if we take this in we're going to need something that really goes from there We're going to need something that's going to sit in there, something like that. But what we do want is we want to have a little bit more to this. So I'm going to go for the soft selection here. So I'm going to hit B on the keyboard. And let's take that fall off. And maybe down to something like you know, 0 0.9 works. So we'll go 0 0.9. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this forward. Just something like that, so it's cutting inside there. That's fine. And let's maybe just pull this around a little bit here. Just until it's kind of giving us some um, curvature inside. Okay, that'll do. I'm not really too fussed about what we have here. Um, let's just take this as well. I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to take that over here, and this is going to be the bulb for our repeater. So I'm just going to do something like that, something fairly simple. Um, once the glass is over the top, I'm not really going to see too much of it. Now, we will want to have some differentiation on here, so let's certain edge loop, something like that. I'm going to hit B to turn off soft selection. I'm going to hit Control E and I'm just going to pull it up a little bit there and away. Maybe just select these two these faces here. Just add a little something to those as well, because there is some shape to those blocks, they're not completely flat. I'm just gonna take these again. Back here into position. Okay, 
Yeah, so do something like that. And then finally, let's just isolate. Take this back. Take these sections in. Can isolate that. Okay, so it's not looking too bad around here. I'm just going to create a new plane. I just want to block off this rear section. It's a little bit messy here, but as long as we get the gist, it's not too bad. And once all of this is hidden with lights and shadows, it's not going to be a big deal. Let's bring it up here. I'm going to remove the subdivisions. Bring this forward. Something like that. And then add the dark material to it. And I think what we'll also do is let's. Add some differentiation to this too. Something inside here that's going to kind of just give a little bit more depth to these lights. Additional color in here. Okay, happy with that. So we're looking pretty good just inside here. Um, what we'll do now is we're going to get the glass in place, but I think I'll speed that up in the interest of time for this video. Essentially what we're going to be doing is I'm going to create a plane, and as usual I'm going to want to reduce all of the subdivisions down. and what we're going to want to do is isolate these two because we want the glass here to sit on the actual casing. We don't want this to sit on the actual um, bodywork paint. So we'll bring this on here and up here. And what we're going to want to do is just essentially lay this over the top and pull some points. I'm just going to speed this point, um, these, this section up. Um, I want to do times two or something like that so we can see. Um, in the next episode, we'll work on the real lights, guys.
Thank you.